podcast. I actually don't know if this is recording yet, but if it is, my name is Tina. I am from Artisan Savon. Oh, hang on. I think we are recording. It says live. So, if that is in fact true and we are recording, hello again. My name is Tina from Artisan Savon. Please be kind. This is my first time ever going live. Um, you may see mistakes and I can't edit them out because it is live. So, yeah. So what I'm going to do today is I've been making planet bath bombs for about a week now. I finally finished them all yesterday. As you can see, we have one here. This one is, oh, hang on, there's going to be a motorbike go past you. Just one second. Alright, sorry, the motorbike's gone now. Up here. This is the problem with live. I can't edit these bits out, so my apologies. Okay, so as I was saying, um, I finished making these yesterday. Um, here's one I've already airbrushed, which is actually what I'm going to do today. I'm going to just show you, um, show you guys me airbrushing a few of these just to help bring the colors out. So this is the, let me get Jupiter, not Jupiter, which one's that? Neptune. Let me get Neptune out of the way and show you the sun. So this is the sun I did. Now my plan was to have a lot more red and orange throughout this and it didn't come out like the mix just the mix worked well but the molds I'm using didn't want to play nice and because these are such a big and heavy bath bomb like these are about 270 grams this bath bomb so it's a decent size um, because they're so big and they're hard to mold when you're doing a massive batch like I did a four kilo batch and yeah they didn't play very nice so it ended up going from something like this to something more like this which I suppose when you actually look at pictures of the sun is more sun like but I'm gonna just you know touch it up with some airbrushing and give it a nice finishing touch so we've got the sun I'll go through and show you now I've got to remember my planet order. This is, I have a cheat sheet, sorry for the squeaky chair. So, this one is Venus. Then we have, oops, it was meant to be Mercury next. This one's Mercury. The yellow one was Venus. Then of course we have Earth. And then we have, over the back here, Mars. And the other planets are over there, but I'll show you them all once I finish airbrushing these. So again, apologies for the squeaky chair. It's the only comfy chair I've got in here, and I'm hoping my airbrushing machine's not going to be too loud. And hopefully I don't ramble too much, because I notice now that I'm rambling. Oh, hang on, here's Pluto too. This one's already been airbrushed as well. Don't know where. There we go. So there's Pluto. Just a nice little bath bomb. All right, so I'm going to start off, actually, I don't want to start off with the black. So I'm going to start off, I think, let's start off with the sun. So all I've got here is some soap colorant with a bit of alcohol, mainly not to thin it out, but for whatever they've made their liquid, co liquid colorant with um, to help evaporate it off. I found that worked well with the others, so that's what I'm going to do with this one. So, I have a spoon here. Now this is just an airbrushing, if you can see that over the back. I don't actually know what you guys can see. So there's an airbrushing machine. I think it's predominantly meant to be used for nails, but we'll use it for this. All right, so I'm gonna turn this on and hopefully it's not too loud for you guys. So I'm gonna start with my, the sun. Where can you guys see? Yeah, should be all right. So I'm just gonna put some of my color into my airbrush little non holder thingy. What's that called? I don't know what that's called. We're going to put the color in there anyway, into the top of the airbrush tool. We dripped it down the side. It's not what we wanted. I find that when I go into video, I tend to do a lot of 
tripping over my words. I don't know whether it's just like a nervous thing or what, but it happens. Which is okay when I'm normally doing a video because I can edit it out. When you're live, you can't edit those things out, so I apologise for that. Alright, let's just make sure we've got yellow. We'll spray there. You can see it's yellow. And we're not going to go too heavy. We're just going to... We're just highlighting. We're not, you know, colouring. Now I'm going to do the yellow part first and then I'll go through and add the orange and the red. I'm just going to pop this one aside. Bring another one down. This one has a bit of a crack in it, but it's still bloody solid. Not highlight that crack. The sun's not perfect. None of these planets are meant to be perfectly round and smooth. If you look at planets and all that up close, you know, they do have craters and cracks and whatever else. I'm going to put this one somewhere out of the way. Hopefully this isn't too boring for you guys. I don't know how long this is going to go for. It could go for a while. Hopefully this is actually working. Because I actually have no way to tell if it is in fact working or not. So I'm sure I'll find out later when I get home. Now... Yeah. If this is working and there is somebody watching, I'm sure you're wondering why I'm actually mica or actually airbrushing these. Um, and I explained a little bit earlier just about how the colours got mixed and it didn't come out the way I wanted it. But I often find with, um, like if it's a special type of bath bomb, which these are, these are for a set, it's just airbrushing adds a nice color effect too. It adds something a little bit special to it. And it's just mica that's being um, sprayed on. So it's already something that you're using in the bath on and it will come off pretty much straight away as soon as you pop it in the bathtub. It's not going to stain because these do have um, poly 85 in them. So they still have their emulsifier in there. And it just adds a little touch of something. It's like a nice finishing touch. I actually think this one looks pretty good so far. You guys can see that one. It's looking, oh, it's very yellow it looks. It's not that yellow in life, like, in the actual, well, I say it's life, but I suppose this is life, isn't it? Anyway, it doesn't look as yellow as what it does in the camera. Remember, we still got to put two more colours on this, so. And then our machine ran out of colour, so let's add a bit more. If you guys have any questions, make sure to just like leave them below for me. Leave me some comments. Add some people to this video if you like. Um, obviously I can't sort of answer comments as I'm doing this because, you know, this is kind of a two-hand job. But I will happily go through and answer comments at the end or when I get home. I'm currently at the shop now, so. When I get home and get onto a computer, then um, I'll be quite happy to sit there and answer all your comments and let me know what you thought of this live video. As I said, this is my first time going live, so be kind, be gentle with me. Um, I haven't got the greatest phone, so if the quality is not perfect, I apologise. Um, I'm just sort of working with what I've got for now. Oh, this one's got a nice big crane in it. Let's highlight that. I've done extras of these, so some of these aren't, you know, perfectly shaped. But they're my spares, but I'm still going to colour them just the same. So. I'm trying not to repeat the same 
spraying pattern, is that what you call it? I'm trying to sort of vary it up a bit. I'm hoping my battery doesn't run out on my phone while I'm doing this too. Alright, so there are all our suns. I think they are all our suns. Yes, the rest aren't fun. Um, that's all the suns for here. So I'm going to get this out. Switch to orange. So I don't need to clean that one out because orange is just the shade darker. So here's our orange again. Just diluted a bit of my soap colorant with um, some alcohol. Rubbing alcohol, or if you've got some nice Everclear or something that's going to evaporate off fairly quickly. Tying up my nozzle there. Alright, now to the orange. Get some orange coming through. See? You can already see that sort of. makes a bit of a difference. I'm going to sort of go over this with one more colour. Which will be the red. I'll try and get some um, photos of these at the end as well to show you what they actually, a better close up and a better quality view of what they actually look like. This live stream is actually not working and I'm literally just sitting here talking to myself for however long this video goes for. I'm not surprised if that does happen, but we'll see. That one was probably a bit too orange. Knock my camera. Mm, get rid of that dirty tissue. That's from the airbrushing stuff. It's not like a snotty tissue. It's funny. The more I use this airbrusher, or airbrusher is that even what it's called? The more I use this air machine or air brush machine. Um, the more I actually enjoy it. Oops, I just dripped that everywhere. And I like that bit. When these dry too, um, when you touch them, the colour won't actually come off on your fingers. Um, it's obviously been on too long. It's because it dries. The alcohol stuff breaks off. And it sort of just I don't know, must set into the bath bomb, bath bomb. If I'm mumbling too, I'm sorry. Again, I'm not used to live streaming and I normally edit all this rambling out. But I'm like, I can't just sort of sit here and be silent while you guys are sitting here watching me. I feel like I need to make conversation. Even if I can't actually respond to what you guys are saying. One, because I'm not looking at what you guys can see on the phone because 
I currently have you guys sitting in a cardboard box inside a muffin cup thing to hold my phone up. I need to invest in something like a tripod. Is there such a thing as a tripod for your phone? If so, I need to get one. Alright, I think that is all the orange I need. See, I need to do orange for one more planet. So I'm just going to pop the suns out of the way. And bring over Mercury? No, not Mercury. Mars. Because Mars is meant to be dark orange. And as you can see, Mars came out kind of light. So we're going to darken it up a bit. And again, we're not going to just smother it in orange. We want just patches. So you can see the light patches and a bit of dark patches. Just to highlight those colours. For a refill, we move this out of the way. Excuse me for the noise. Might need a bit more orange. I didn't think I would use this much, apparently. I did. I'm going to put a bit of red on these Mars too. Someone said last night, Mars is meant to be red. And I'm like, even though I googled all these colours, um, it did say dark orange, but you know, just keep the crowd happy. We will um, add a bit of red in there. God, 17 minutes. If any of you guys are still here watching, good on you. I probably would have given up by now. Alright, so. Whew, can you hear that? It's quiet. Alright, so I'm just going to add a bit more orange. Not too much because I've only got like three more to do. So it's just a bit of liquid colouring. Um, I'm not sure. This is our alcohol, so just a bit of alcohol. Yeah. And see that? And just gonna mix it together, to thin it out, and help the liquid colorant evaporate off the actual bath bomb, so it doesn't activate it. All right, back to the noise. Keep coming down. These days, so I don't have to keep reaching in front of the camera. Although, I still have to keep reaching in front of the camera because I've got to put it back. If there's any like professional airbrush people out there, I apologise if I'm like ruining the technique or butchering something. Again, my sincere apologies. I make soap. I'm not an airbrush person. What is an airbrush person called anyway? Airbrush artist? Is that what they're called? Alright, so we're going to do red next. Just cleaning up so it's not too orangey. Get rid of the orange. I have my tray of colours already over here set up. So there's my red. Again, a liquid colourant thinned out with a bit of alcohol. And the red is for the sun and then for Mars. Yeah, there we go, red. Alright, so I'm going to try and go... Oops. 
over these bits here. Can you see over these bits? I don't want a heap of red. I just want it to sort of fit in with the I think I need to add more yellow to these. Because red is such a strong colour, you know, it's got to kind of... It really doesn't show up on the camera how it is showing up in real life. Which is kind of frustrating. And once these suns are finished, I can... Um, out of the way. Kind of sort of anything that looks too white, I'm just going to make it red. And make these craters red so they stand out a bit. I've actually got the shop open today too, so if a customer walks in, I'll probably stop it and then restart the live stream. Or just in case they start talking about something you guys don't need to hear. I seem to be a, um, a soap shop slash, I don't know what else you would call it, confidant. People come in and say some random things, so yeah. If it suddenly goes black, either my batteries died on my phone. Which is quite possible because it's getting quite low. Or oh, I've had somebody come in. Or oh, I just think you guys have seen enough and I'm not going to put you through anymore. I'm kind of liking some of these that have craters on them. If you're watching this from somewhere other than, other than Australia, tell me what time it is where you are. What's the weather like? What's going on in your country right now? Not much happening here today. It's nice and sunny, clear blue skies. It's about, I don't even know what the time is. It's quarter past 10. I said I was only going to be here till 10.30, but I, I will be here a lot later. Do you guys make soap or do you just like soap? Are you bath bomb fans? I haven't said before these obviously are bath bombs. Um, what other questions can I ask that you guys can sort of answer in the comment section? Oops, time for a baby.
and that last sun. Just double checking before I commit to that. Yes, it is the last one. Alright, so well, this is where we're at now. Just going to move these out of the way. Turn that off so we can hear ourselves. Move these out of the way. Oops, sorry. Did the world shake for you guys? I apologize. Alright, let's bring Mars over here. These are probably still a bit soft and I probably should have left them a little bit longer. So here we are onto Mars. We're just going to fill in that gap. We need more red. You know, this is going much longer than I expected, so I hope you guys have a lot of time to sit here and watch this. If not, I fully understand, but you no. Know, things to do, people to see. I think I'll just show you Earth next. And then I'll probably cut this off because this is getting super long. I mean, we're already up to 27 minutes. <gasps> if you haven't subscribed already, subscribe because I'm sure you want more 27 minute videos, yeah? I'm kidding. Not about the subscribing, but the 27 minute video thing. Piece of paper, put it under there. Now I'm going to do earth next. So we'll get rid of this. I'm going to add a bit of green and a bit of a dark blue. And I'm actually going to um, tissue, wipe this out as much as I can, and then run a bit of clear alcohol through this to try and clear it out but I'll spray it out anyway as well. I feel like I'm mumbling and I apologize. I feel like I'm apologizing too much but I apologize. Oh and now my battery's gonna die. One second I have to get my charger as well. Alright I'm gonna that there while I go get my phone charger so I can keep going.
so I'm going to cut this live stream off and I'm going to start another one. So we'll do the Earth and we will do Venus.